Though recognized as an endangered species since 1975, chimpanzee numbers are still in critical decline. When I began in 1960, there were at least one million chimpanzees right across to West Africa. And today, no more than 150,000 at most. At the heart of their declining population is an alarming practice. It's not just that their habitat's disappearing, which it is, just as it has here, but it's also that they're hunted. They're hunted to some extent for the live animal trade, but they're also hunted for meat, along with gorillas and bonobos and elephants and everything that walks or flies in the forests of, of Congo and West Africa. It's called the bushmeat trade. And this has grown because the old kind of subsistence hunting that has been a way of life for the people in the forest for hundreds of years has changed because logging companies and to some extent mining companies have made roads deep into the heart of the last remaining forest. And this provides access for the hunters from the towns who go to the end of the logging road and shoot everything for food. Chimpanzees, gorillas, elephants, antelopes, monkeys, birds, bats, they dry it in the sun or they smoke it and they ship it into the towns. As commercial logging has expanded, the practice has only become more widespread. And when it's done on a commercial scale, it can wipe out the wildlife in a forest, even when the forest is left standing. Well, uh, I'm not sure anyone knows how big the bushmeat trade is, but it's uh, estimated to be a billion dollar industry. and it has its tentacles into every continent on Earth in terms of uh, the flow out of Africa. And when you have snares that have been kept there to catch, even if it's not chimpanzees that are being caught, they always end up being caught in some of these snares. But the cruelest fate of all is reserved for the youngest chimps. In the old days, no respectable hunter would shoot a mother with a baby because it's like laying the goose that lays the golden egg. But now mothers are shot, so as a result of, of this, the um, babies are being sold beside the cut-up bodies of their mothers in the market. So what we're doing is working to try to change attitudes and practices. We're trying to get enforcement so that this illegal practice is not allowed by governments, but we're also trying to change the attitudes of people, what they eat, what they uh, understand about the forest, what their children in particular care about. And for many orphan chimps, the Jane Goodall Institute is the only hope for survival. When we can persuade governments to cooperate, these babies are confiscated because it is illegal in most of these site range countries. And then the baby chimps are brought to the Jane Goodall Institute representatives and we have to care for them in sanctuaries. We can't put them back in the wild, they have to learn how to live. There isn't really enough habitat for the wild chimps. And in addition, they trust people and they'd wander into a village and get hurt or hurt someone. It's been estimated that chimpanzees cannot survive more than 15 to 20 years unless we do something right now to halt the bushmeat trade or at least to, to reduce the bushmeat trade and to prevent it entirely for, for the great apes. By donating to the Jane Goodall Institute or adopting a chimpanzee, you can help eliminate bushmeat trade. The continued survival of chimpanzees and other great apes depends upon it. Please join us and help us save the chimpanzees today.